So here we are, my 1970s Green Sparkle Ludwig set. We'll call it my John Bonham replica set. See, now that's what I titled my previous videos and that's what I'm gonna title this video. And in doing so, I probably shot myself in the foot. Uh, some people out there maybe expected me to play like him and I'm not that guy. I'm just a casual player, I, I play for fun. There's people out there like Kick It Like Bonham that uh, replicates the Bonham stuff like top notch. George Flutus, another top notch player that really uh, nails the Bonham stuff. I didn't really set out to uh, build a John Bonham replica set. Uh, what set me down this path was I found this bass drum in an old lady's attic, believe it or not. Um, so once I found that, I found the toms to go with it. If I hadn't found that, I would have never been able to put this set, this set together. They're all 70s three ply Ludwig shells. I rewrapped them in green sparkle, did a ton of work to them. Uh, if you wanna check out my previous videos on how I built this set. Um, so this is just a really uh, fun set to play. It's like stepping back into time. Like if you got to sneak behind his actual set for a few minutes and just just riff out, it, it, uh, it really puts a smile on your face and it sounds great. It's really comfortable to play even though the size is too. Um, so I'll get you guys up close to it and, and see. Um, in my previous video, I mentioned I, I this is all vintage hardware, all vintage shells, all vintage hardware. So it's not perfect. It looks really nice though, uh, but there is a little micro pitting here and there. Um, it really looks like a vintage set, honestly. So uh, we'll get you up close to it and I'll pop in a clip of me playing it, some sloppy triplets and stuff like that. So like I said, it just looks like a really nice vintage set. If you, you know, went over with a fine tooth comb, you probably see a little micro pitting here and there, but I tried to use all the best hardware I had. Um, I don't even know if the camera will pick up anything. Um, for the bass drum, I got a smooth white Rezo, legit Ludwig logo with the green ink from the 70s. Uh, the toms, I have coated emperors over coated ambassadors. For the bass drum, I have a coated emperor with a felt strip. All these are wide open besides that felt strip. I busted out my Speed King reissue. Uh, when I first got this, I played with it a little bit, went right back to my Iron Cobra, and um, busted it back out for this set. Now that I get it adjusted the way I like it, it's a really great pedal. They're pretty awesome. So I got my trusty and crusty 70s 402. I did upgrade the strainer, uh, coated emperor over, I believe it's a clear diplomat. And I got the 42 strand wires on it. Um, the symbols. You got 19 inch crash to my right, 24 inch ride, 18 inch crash to my left, 15 inch sound edge hats, a uh, real deal Ralph Kesta Ching ring. Unfortunately, I didn't have a second Rogers clutch for it. So the lead wheel have to do. When I first set this up, I set it up with all my DW hardware and I and Cobra pedals and it just didn't look right. Um, so I went on eBay that night and I actually found three early Atlas cymbal stands. I only have two set up, but um, 100 bucks for all three. I did have to clean them up and put new rubber feet on them, but can't beat that deal. And they just look right with this set. Uh, I know it's just looks, it's not super important. New hardware definitely functions a lot better, um, but this stuff does function perfectly fine. Um, my Ludwig Gold Tone Cowbell, my vintage uh, Ludwig Cymbal Arm. I was out buying some drums one day and I noticed in the corner of this guy's garage, he had this hi-hat stand. Uh, I asked him how much, he said 20 bucks, I said sold. Um, I know Bonham used the Swan Lake version early on, but believe he switched to the Supreme version mid-70s, but regardless. Um, 
it wasn't in the greatest shape. I did have to clean it up. And after this, I'll pop in a little clip of me cleaning that up. And I still need to find a Atlas snare stand. Uh, but I'll come across one. So I just want to take a second and thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. I noticed over the last couple months, I've kind of gained a lot and I really appreciate it. I appreciate everybody for following along while I put the set together. And uh, just thanks a lot, guys and girls. I really appreciate it. So initially, I just took this up to the kitchen sink and hosed off the hair and dust and 50 years worth of grime. So because I didn't take this base completely apart, in case any water got inside of here, I'm going to take and shoot some WD-40 down in there. And for those who don't know, WD actually stands for water displacement. So that should get rid of any moisture and uh, coat things to keep them from rusting. Then I'm going to follow it up with some 3-in-1 oil. And that'll keep things from squeaking and uh, keep things lubricated for a long time to come. Cleaned up, lubricated, ready for another five decades of action.